Hi everyone, it's Andrea here from Admire PR with a bit of a cold, so I sound a bit rough. Um, today we're talking about another PR myth, uh, things people say to me about PR and um, yeah, another myth to overturn. So today's topic is um, that you can't measure results or uh, ROI of PR. Nah, rubbish, of course you can. Easy peasy. So um, first thing I want to say is like PR is like any form of marketing, you can indeed measure it. And anyone who tells you you can't um, is, is hiding <laughs> the truth for some reason. And um, maybe they don't want to measure their results because they don't look so good. Who knows? Um, putting that out there. Um, so yeah, there's some really simple things you can do. <laughs> like if you um, put a campaign out, then you um, can monitor your Google Analytics or whatever analytics tool you use on your website and see where people are coming from. Um, you can ask people. I've got clients who still do this. So we might put something out in a local paper, for instance, and they'll get contacted. And more often than not, people will say, oh, we saw you in the whatever. Um, or if they don't say that, they've just contacted you, you can ask where they found out about you. That's still the best way to find these things out. Um, and of course, there's technology. We have tools that can measure um, the number of brand mentions, which I think is like really, really useful. Um, measure the links that go back to your website you can measure the reach um, you can get a really good indication of the monthly views on a particular website um, if you've got digital pr and and how um many people are viewing that page um it's pretty accurate these days it's getting better and better month on month as well and also um it's like I, this is like the age old argument amongst PR people. Um, so back in the day, like when I started and we were literally making books, like to say to our clients with the coverage. So we'd like cut it out and stick it in and send it to the client. Um, I actually missed that a little bit, you know, that blue Peter moment. Um, but Coverage used to be measured in column inches, so like how much space you got in a publication, and if you were paying for that space in advertising, how much that would have cost you. So that was how PR was measured. Um, and yeah, this causes a lot of hate in the industry, but actually that's quite useful for some clients to know. Um, I still get asked for that, and I've got no problem putting a value on on coverage if that's what the client really needs to know if that's their benchmarking that's that ain't no problem for me especially if they're trying to work out how much advertising spend to um use versus um pr spend it's actually really useful um so i always say to people what do you want to know like is this do we want to have um show that pr is creating a certain number of leads um and if we're part of a campaign, there's other marketing going on as well. So it's not all on PR. We might be 10 to 20% of the whole of the marketing that's happening, but we can put a figure on that um, and say, okay, we're looking for like 400 leads in the next month, like new people. Um, and we'll say, you know, stick our neck out and say like 80 of those will come from the PR campaign. You know, we can we can follow those up. Um, we can track that that detailed. So it really depends what you need as a business um and what other marketing are doing and what's going to work but there we go myth gone okay it can be measured and so it blooming should be